50 Cent is coming for Diddy. He is known for his relentless trolling of other celebrities, especially his longtime rival Diddy. Diddy's been in hot water lately with all these lawsuits accusing him of being a creep, but 50 Cent says he knows even more tea about Diddy's secret parties where he invited other rappers to join his freaky adventures. It all started with Cassie, the ex-girlfriend of none other than Diddy spilling some serious tea in a lawsuit filed in Manhattan's federal district court in a Shocking revelation, Cassie accused Diddy of putting her through a roller coaster of abuse over a decade. According to Cassie, Diddy wasn't just a boyfriend, he was a puppet master orchestrating a disturbing show involving drugs, physical assaults, and some seriously unsettling scenes with multiple male prostitutes. While he observed and recorded the events, the relationship between Cassie and Diddy began in 2005 when she was 19 years old and ended in 2018. Diddy denies all the allegations, but law enforcement. Emmett's sources have confirmed that there is an active case under the name Sean Diddy. One aspect that has raised eyebrows is the suggestion of Diddy's potential influence within the police force over the years. There have been whispers about Diddy having connections in law enforcement, which has fueled speculation that he might have influenced ongoing investigations into the accusations Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy paints a truly disturbing picture. The legal documents detail some seriously dark acts. Allegations Cassie claims she was essentially trafficked by Diddy to act out as fantasies picture this Cassie engaging in intimate activities with multiple men, often masked in donning costumes, and who's enjoying the show Diddy, of course, in all his directorial glory. The lawsuit describes that these at horrific encounters stating that Cassie had to take drugs to disassociate during these arrangements hold on to your disbelief because the law suite isn't done revealing jaw-dropping details Cassie ref Heirs to these disturbing incidents as freak-offs and the locations, well, they're as luxurious as you can imagine. One of the alleged hot pots for these events was none other than the Trump International Hotel in New York City. Yes, you read that right, Cassie asserts that Diddy had a peculiar fascination. With watching her intimately involved with other men, one disturbing incident mentioned in the lawsuit occurred in March 2016 when Cassie claims Diddy got drunk during a freak-off and physically assault. Ed, her leaving her with a black eye, she attempted to leave the hotel room, but Dee Dee allegedly woke up, screamed at her, and threw glass vases at her, causing the glass to shatter around them fast forward to 2013, and the drama continues. Diddy report reportedly orchestrated another one of his infamous freak-offs this time, though. The aftermath wasn't all fun and games. The hotel where the explicit rendezvous took place ended up with significant damages, leaving them with quite the bill Cassie, who was a part. Bentley tased with organizing the location and hiring male sex workers for this event was about to spill the tea but Diddy allegedly swooped in and silenced her by offering a hefty sum of money. The lawsuit also alleges that Diddy asked Cassie to carry his gun in her purse on at least two occasions. Cassie further claims that Diddy often plied her with ecstasy and ketamine and physically assaulted her, but she refrained from reporting it to authorities fearing it would give him another excuse to harm. Her and 50 Cent isn't taking a breather in the art of trolling, especially when it comes to Diddy since the news broke about Cassie suing Diddy 50 Cent, has been spilling all the messy details. Recently, he dropped a video hinting that Jay-Z might have been involved in Diddy's controversial escapades. Now we all know Diddy and Jay-Z are tight. Diddy even declared in an interview a few months back that only his mom and Jay-Z are allowed to call him Sean Diddy proudly displays a photo with Jay on his Website showcasing their seemingly solid friendship but is 50 Cent subtly suggesting there's more to Diddy and Jay-Z's connection than meets the eye 50 is dragging Jay-Z into the mix hinting that their connection might be more than just friendship but hold up 50 Cent and Jay-Z's have had. Their beef for over two decades at 1.50 even accused Jay of buying his way to the top claiming there's no real competition because America can be bought with marketing dollars. 50 also found it peculiar that Jay-Z refers to himself as Jesus revealing in a 2009 Rolling Stone interview that he has a king complex and thinks he's practically the Messiah in the same interview 50 cents seemed to accuse Jay of betraying those close to him like former Rockefeller artist Beanie Siegel according. To 50 Jay wasn't looking out for their interests. He was just doing whatever it took to benefit himself. It's not only 50 Cent who feels this way others believe that Jay-Z has caused harm to others to achieve success.
Uncle Ron, reportedly Beyonce's bodyguard, mentioned that both Jay-Z and Beyonce have harmed people who spoke against them. Uncle Ron highlighted how Jay-Z got rid of individuals like Biggie Beanie, Sigal, and Freeway once they had helped him rise to the top. I say, and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are, how you stepped on many people. The allegations don't end there. Jaguar Wright is suggesting that something dark is going on in Jaws's inner circle with individuals like Big L meeting tragic ends. Interestingly, this narrative about Jay-Z is strikingly similar to the one surrounding Diddy people have noticed a pattern with Diddy. Associates facing unfortunate fates or fading from the industry, a trend even more prevalent than his list of chart-topping records. Obviously, drop names like Diddy Jay Z and Beyonce claiming they're controlled by Hollywood elites, Kanye asserted that unlike them, he can't be controlled because he's never harmed anyone, according to Kanye. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce, but not him emphasizing that he's free. To speak his mind without fear of legal consequences, Jaguar Wright delved into Jay Z's connections with Diddy Tupac and Biggie, addressing Jay Z's collaborations with Tupac and Biggie. She noted Jay Z's co. Amarad with Diddy, whom she amusingly referred to as Honey Diddy Jaguar, hinted at potentially compromising situations involving Jay-Z sparking curiosity about the dynamics of their relationships.